Father, we thank you once again this morning. We ask that you speak to us expressly. We ask that you cause your word to have a positive impact in our life. And our life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. It's a good day to be alive. We appreciate God once again for the gift of life. The Bible says it is not of him that run it, neither of him that will it, but of God that showeth mercy. The Bible says again that his mercies are new every morning. They are new every morning. We appreciate him for that. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. This morning I'm going to be speaking to us briefly from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and I'm going to read verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. People of God, there's an appointed time for everything. God has programmed our life in such a way that we are expected to achieve different things at different times. But the major challenge that we are facing today is that people want to people want to bypass some of those processes that God has designed for us to be able to reach our destination. People are looking for shortcuts. People want things done instantly. People want to receive that miracle. They want to pray today and receive answer immediately. But forgetting that there is a time for everything. So I want you to understand, as a Christian, that whatever we want to achieve here, whatever we are praying to God concerning, you must understand that there is an appointed time for it. And if that appointed time did not come, there is nothing you can do. I want us to also quickly read, read an account of Joseph in the book of Psalms, Psalm 105, verse 20. Let me start from verse 19. I think it's even good I start from verse 17. Verse 17 says, He sent a man before them. Even Joseph, who was sued for his servants, whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron. Verse 19 says, Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. And verse 20 says, The king said, And lose him, and even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. You understand the story. You know the story. How Joseph got to the prison. But he was not released until the time that his word came, according to the word of God. The word of the Lord tried him, and he was set free. So, people of God, the summary of what I'm telling us this morning is that there is always an appointed time for whatever thing we want to achieve here on earth. You can run, you can struggle. If the time has not come, it's not going to happen. I remember a few years back, one of my daughters was telling me because they've been using them, they've been engaging so many, you know, family members using them as part of their bridal train. And one of them just came to me one day and said, Daddy, I want to get married. A girl of like five years then. And I said, no. You are going to get married, but it is not now. There is an appointed time for that to happen. You are still very young now. You have to go to school, complete your education, and possibly start a work before you will be talking of getting married. To her, she didn't understand that those things, there are, there are timings attached to them. That is the way some of us are. Some of us who are still baby in the spirit will be pointing to them and say, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to achieve, and God will tell you, wait. But we don't want to wait. So people of God, there is an appointed time for everything you want to achieve here on earth. There are so many things you wanted to achieve so many years ago, but it was so difficult, it was so tough for you. But at some point, you will see it coming easily. You are achieving them easily. So I want to encourage us this morning, people of God. There is time for everything. My prayer for you is that you will not miss that timing. The appointed time of God for your life, you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. What God has planned, what God has proposed for you, will come to pass in the name of Jesus. At the appointed time, at the right time, you will receive them in the name of Jesus. You will not lose that timing in the name of Jesus. It is where we do. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.